England may not be as well known for Christmas markets as other destinations in mainland Europe, but with a growing selection of festive fairs taking place at castles, palaces, and some of the most vibrant cities in the country, England is quickly becoming a Christmas bucket list destination for visitors from around the world. And as one of those visitors, in this video, I'll be presenting part one of the best Christmas markets and festive days out in England, focusing on ones doable from London. Yes, I am saving the best for last, so stick around for my personal favorite. Now, fair disclaimer, this video only features places I've personally been to, hence why there are several big name Christmas markets missing, so leave a comment if you have any recommendations for featuring in part two. And if you're looking for details on London's Christmas markets, that already has its own separate video, so give that a watch. Now, let's kick off our list with Birmingham, one of the most famous Christmas market destinations in England, with its crown jewel being the Birmingham Frankfurt Christmas Market, also known as the largest authentic German-style market outside of Central Europe. This market welcomes over 5 million visitors a year, with almost 200 stalls selling a tempting range of Christmas market foods and classic gifts like ornaments and toys. The main section of the market can be found in Victoria Square, along with additional stalls spread out across New Street, stretching all the way to the famous Bullring Shopping Centre. Besides this main event, there's also a special Christmas market in Cathedral Square, which has a focus on local artisans from the Birmingham area. Set against the gorgeous backdrop of Birmingham Cathedral, this market also has a tasty selection of food and drink stalls to choose from. And for those looking for additional festive activities in Birmingham, there's also the Big Wheel, which offers sweeping views of the city skyline, and Ice Skating Birmingham right next to it, complete with an on-site bar. And for one of the coziest and most idyllic Christmas markets in England, I can highly recommend stopping by the lovely city of Winchester, which is beautifully decorated with lights even as soon as you leave the train station. The Winchester Cathedral Christmas Market takes place every year in the shadow of the city's famous cathedral, with over 100 wooden stalls to peruse, including a separate maker's market with handmade decorations, gifts, and clothing from local businesses. In the middle of the market, you'll find an open-air food court offering options ranging from fish and chips and burgers to hog roast and mulled wine. You'll also find a performance stage here, which welcomes different performers every evening. And if you need to warm up inside, the cathedral itself hosts a variety of festive concerts and special events during the Christmas season. Besides this main Christmas market though, Winchester has plenty to offer for a Christmassy day trip, with twinkling lights adorning streets and storefronts, additional market stalls down the high street, and many cozy pubs and restaurants to enjoy. Plus, if it sways your decision, there's also Southampton a short train ride away, which has tons of great shopping opportunities and a small Christmas market of its own. While the market is quite minimalist, with just a handful of stalls mainly selling food, there is the West Key Shopping Centre right next to it, with over 90 different shops to rate for gifts. Another great market for shopping is the one found at stratford upon avon Best known as the birthplace of William Shakespeare, Stratford-upon-Avon is one of the most popular day trips from London, and an especially worthwhile one to do if you happen to time your visit for their annual Victorian Christmas Market. Taking place only one weekend a year, the Stratford-upon-Avon Christmas Market brings together over 300 vendors selling everything from handmade jewellery and gifts to locally produced alcohol, set against the town's beautiful half-timbered backdrops. Of course, besides the market, there are many other festive experiences that await, especially for sweet toots, like the legendary hot chocolate at Honey Blue, which you can get with a toasted marshmallow, and the adorably decorated treats and shop over at the Cookie Cottage next door. Even the birthplace of William Shakespeare is fully decked out with a Tudor-style Christmas feast, so it's pretty safe to say this is one of the most gorgeously festive day trips that you can do from London. But if we're talking about atmosphere alone, few can beat the Christmas market in Rochester. With an epic backdrop like Rochester Castle, it's easy to see why Rochester's Christmas market is considered among the best in the country. Running for only a few weekends a year, visitors can expect a wide array of vendors, a mini Bavarian village selling food and drink, a covered craft market with goods from local artisans, and plenty of cute photo ops along the way. This is the perfect Christmas market to bring kids to with a lovely assortment of mini fairground rides and a handful of games that they are sure to love. The central Christmas tree even produces its own little snowstorm throughout the evening, making for a few moments of spontaneous magic. Another Christmas market to visit in England can be found in Canterbury. 
Home to possibly the most famous cathedral in England, Canterbury is a medieval walled city that pulls out all the stops at Christmas time, with a small month long Christmas market that runs from mid November until Christmas Eve. At this market, about 60 festive stalls are scattered around the Whitefriars Shopping Centre, with options varying from knit hats and novelty gifts to handcrafted items made locally in Canterbury. There's also, of course, a few spots to warm up with a drink or two and grab a bite to eat. Granted, the market itself isn't the biggest or most exciting, but what makes Canterbury such a great Christmassy day out is the city's festive vibe as a whole. Besides Christmas market stalls, there's also the Marlowe Arcade, where there's a giving tree and letters to Santa, and also tons of beautiful festive sites all around the historic town centre, especially in the Cathedral Quarter, where many storefronts are adorably dressed in lights and holiday decor. Of course, even Canterbury Cathedral has a few Christmas surprises to offer visitors. Speaking of surprises, visitors to Hampton Court Palace are in for a treat when they visit in December, especially if they manage to catch the special annual winter fair that takes place on the palace grounds for only one weekend a year. Unfortunately, I missed this market by just two days, so I wasn't able to see the offerings for myself, but I snooped on what I could and even just the vendor names had me drooling puddles on the palace floor. Combined with the stunning historic backdrop of the palace itself, which I did get to enjoy, I imagine this is definitely one of the top Christmas day trips you can do from London, especially if you book a slot at the palace's ice skating rink, which runs throughout the festive season. And a short distance away from Hampton Court Palace, you'll find the Kingston Christmas Market, a small festive collection of market stalls combined with their usual street food vendors, selling everything from stuffed naan to sweet and savoury crepes. The centerpiece of this market is the traditional German Christmas pyramid, which sells festive hot drinks, as well as a stall selling Christmas market classics like sausages of all kinds. Of course, Kingston has a few other festive offerings up its sleeve, like its Alpine village at All Saints Church, and festive decor all around the town centre. And for one of the most extravagant Christmas experiences in England, be sure to put Blenheim Palace on your list. Best known as the birthplace of Winston Churchill, this elaborate country home hosts a month-long Christmas market every year, running from mid-November to mid-December. With around 70 wooden chalets arranged in the palace's grand court, there's plenty of opportunities for shopping and general merrymaking. But the star of the show is really the palace itself, which gets dressed up for the holidays every year with a new theme, like the Kingdom of the Snow Queen this year, or Cinderella and Alice in Wonderland in years prior. The interiors here are stunningly decorated, with an incredible attention to detail that will give you serious home envy. And for those willing to brave the cold, there's even a festive light trail in the palace gardens, which tends to sell out every year, hence why you're not seeing any clips of it. In nearby Oxford, famed for its prestigious university, you'll find another lovely Christmas market that runs for two and a half weeks every December along the city's historic Broad Street. From unique jewelry pieces and bath bombs to beautiful gifts brought over from the Alps, the vendors here offer a broad range of products and goodies to enjoy. But of course, there's a lot more magic to be found in Oxford than just the market. Wander around town and you'll see all sorts of beautiful magical sights, including the Oxford Castle and Prison, which has its own Christmas trail, and cozy pubs aplenty when you feel ready to warm up. Saving the best for last, we have the Bath Christmas Market, which runs for just a few weeks every year, ending in the first half of December. With over 150 stalls scattered around the historic center of the city, the focus here is on local makers and artisans from around the Southwest, meaning a lot of unique options that you won't find at other Christmas markets in the country. Add on the spectacular backdrop of Bath Abbey and the city's signature limestone streets, and you have what is probably my personal favorite Christmas market in England. Besides the market, there's a variety of festive happenings over at Royal Victoria Park, like Bath on Ice, which is a large ice skating rink, and Bath Glow Golf, which is an illuminated course with colorful twinkling lights. And as a bit of an honorable mention, a short 15 minute train ride from Bath is the vibrant city of Bristol, which is home to a Christmas market of its own around the Cabot Circus Shopping Center, although it is much smaller and more low key. I honestly wouldn't necessarily visit Bristol just for the Christmas market itself, but if you're planning a full day out to visit the city's many incredible museums, sites, and shops, then stopping at the Christmas market is a very festive way to end the day. Of course, a visit to the aptly named Christmas Steps should also be in order, if even just to enjoy some of the truly drool-worthy offerings from the bakeries and cafes in the area. 
Thank you so much for watching. And again, be sure to let me know in the comments which Christmas markets in England you'd add to the list. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more practical travel videos about Europe and beyond. See you next time. Bye!